Sure. Uh, another uh, thing is in JavaScript, as you might have uh, seen, that another way of defining functions is also a lot of times we do it uh, using variable declarations. We do it like this. We do let area equal to function and we define a function like this. Okay. So uh, if we do that, uh, that's actually also possible. In fact, we can take this function definition and we can just uh, put it here, um, right? And uh, there we go. So in fact, uh, doing it this way is also allowed. Um, as we have seen in earlier uh, cases that if we write, you know, let x equal to 10 and uh, we, the other way we can also do is we can write let x of type number and uh, then we can uh, write x equal to 10 in the next line. So how about area here? Uh, can we define the type of a function first and define it later on is that possible so uh, i will just take you through it and that's how to define function data types so if i want to do it this way uh, if i had to do it that way right uh, so what we'll do is uh, we we define the function type somewhat like this we write a bracket and this is where we write the arguments okay that it's uh, going to take and uh, we write uh, arrow and we write the return type that this function is going to give which is going to be a prime number okay so as we do that as you see now no more errors are here so this is how we define uh, function types okay uh, so uh, we write the uh, argument types inside brackets and then uh, we write this arrow and in front of the arrow we type the you know return type of this function okay and in that case we can define this area function and in fact uh, if we wrote you know uh, it like this this would also work because since the data type is properly defined up there uh, a and b are of number type that is already defined so i don't need to define the data types again here i don't need to tell b is nullable or not although if i do it here that's fine but i don't need to do that anymore here because uh, when i defined let area i had completely defined uh, the uh, parameter types and the return type already so when i actually uh, define the real body of the function uh, in that place i can write it pretty much like pure javascript without having to get into data types anymore so that's how you can define uh, a function uh, using the let keyword instead of defining the function straight away of course if you have done javascript already you know that the difference in hoisting between the earlier way of doing it and this way in the earlier way the entire function definition gets hoisted in this case it does not get hoisted so and those uh, things you need to keep in uh, mind uh, as i said this series uh, deals with typescript for people who already know javascript so i'm not getting into that uh, too much